video. Today, this is going to be just kind of a chill, laid back video, not anything super structured. But um, during my NHL draft video, when I was covering the draft, I talked about how I want to look into the Swedish Hockey League because so many of the prospects in the first round this season were. Um, Swedish players. So I thought, why not, why not do that now? We're going to sit down, we're going to take a look at the Swedish Hockey League. Now I don't think, because I know that the KHL, the Russian League, is considered the second best league in the world. Then most people would probably put the American Hockey League, the AHL, at the third below that. So Swedish Hockey League. This might be the 4th, 5th, 6th, I'm not sure, where this league ranks globally, like as far as how good it is. But, let's take a look here. I just have some website stuff going to look at, though. I have Wikipedia and their official websites, all this stuff, so let's pull that up now. Oh, also, also. Uh, I am making Q&A questions. I want to do another Q&A video. So if you have any sort of questions that you want to ask, they want me to answer in an upcoming video, probably next week, and leave them in the comments down below. All right, now let's get into it. So I'm just gonna go through the Wikipedia page. I'm gonna hop over to the um, like the league page after this, but the Swedish Hockey League. Officially, SHL, Swedish Svenska Hockey League is a professional ice hockey league in the highest division in the Swedish ice, ho Swedish ice hockey system. The league currently consists of 14 teams. The league was founded in 1975. And while Swedish ice hockey champions have been crowned through various formats since 1922, the title and the Lamette Trophy have been awarded to the winner of the SHL playoffs since the league's inaugural 1975-1976 season. Let's take a look at that trophy. Lamette Trophy. That's a... In fact, that's an awful picture. That's a pretty cool trophy. Yeah, that's pretty cool. In that 2010-11 season, the SHO was the world's most evenly matched professional ice hockey league. During the 2011-12 season, the SHO was the most relevant ice hockey league in Europe, averaging 6,385 spectators per game. However, in 2013-14, the SHL was the third best in Europe with an attendance average of 5,978. The SHL was the second most popular sports team league within Sweden after the Football League Allsvenskan, which in the 2013 season had average attendance of 7,627. The league was founded in 1975 as the Elitserien, in English the Swedish Elite Laker SEL, and initially featured 10 teams. This was expanded to 12 for the 1987-88 season. The league was renamed to the SHL in 2013, and in 2014 a number of format changes were announced, including expansion to 14 teams to be finalized prior to the 2015-16 season and a new format for promotion from and relegation to Hockey Svenska in the second tier league. Teams from the SHL participate in the IIHF's annual champions hockey league competing for the European trophy. Participation is based on the strength of the various leagues in Europe, excluding the European Asian Continental Hockey League, which is the Russian league. Going into the 2022 23 
WCHL season, the SHL is ranked as the number one league in Europe, allowing them to send their top five teams to compete in the CHL. Okay, so... Obviously, the KHL is then better than them, right? Um, but the KHL isn't going, so this is probably the fourth best hockey league in the world, I have to assume. Let's see if we can see a ranking of those teams. League ranking, okay. The Swedish Hockey League is first. Second is the National League in Switzerland. Third, you have the Deutsche Ice Hockey League, uh, which I've watched a little bit of their games because they have the Red Bull Munchen team of Bayern Munich fans. So, watched a little bit of that team. Fourth is SM League, which is the Finnish League. Fifth is the Czech Extra League. Uh, then you have the Ice Hockey League from Austria. The Belarusian Extra League, obviously from Belarus. Elite Ice Hockey League from Britain. Liga Magnus from France. Depots Extra Liga from Slovakia. Elite Syrian. Also Fjordkraft League from Norway. Which I've tried to get into that league a little bit in the past because of, um, you know, my Norwegian heritage. It just never really happened. Hold on, my camera paused here. Let me reset this. Alright, I think we got this figured out now. Um, this capture card has been so annoying, I think I need to get a different one. But um, we left off with Elite Syrian. Um, the last two is the Polish Hockey League, the Polska Hockey League, and the Metal League, and from Denmark. So, definitely, it seems that the SHL is the strongest European league outside of Russia. Uh, moving on now. We have the history. The Swedish Ice Hockey Championship was awarded for the first time in 1922, only two years after ice hockey was introduced in Sweden by the American film director Raoul Lamatt. So that is where the name of the Lamatt Trophy comes from. Very interesting that it's an American film director that brought the sport there. At this point, the Swedish Championships were held as a separate tournament. It was not until the 1952-53 season that the championship was awarded the winner of the top tier hockey league, which at the time was Division 1, which I guess now is the third tier of ice hockey, so that's interesting. Expansion. The inaugural late Syrian season began on 5 October 1975. The league consisting of 10 teams, each playing one another four times, two at home and two on the road, or a total of 36 games. 10 teams, four times, okay, yeah, yeah, because you don't play yourself. There you go. There's been extensive discussion about the number of teams in the SHL. The league had 12 teams over 20 years since an expansion from 10 teams in 1987. However, there was general agreement among hockey experts that the league needed to be expanded by at least two more teams. They meant that apart from just the economic situation for some of the clubs, the competition from hockey also in Scotland had shown that more teams were needed in the top league, SHL. On 13 March 2014, the SHL and hockey also in Scotland announced that the SHL would be expanded to 14 teams starting in the 2015-16 season. To make this change after at least two hockey else when skin teams be brought to SHL on the 2014 15 season. I like that they just brought teams up from the lower league instead of adding teams. I guess in a pro rail system that makes a bit more sense. European level play. In 2019, Hakan Lu, the general manager of Floristad BK, alerted Alexander Medvedev, the owner and president of the Russian Continental Hockey League. On behalf of five SHL teams, Faristad, Verlunda, Chagard, and Linko being in HV71, that were reportedly interested in discussing the future of European hockey. It was believed that these five teams had tend to leave the SHL League after the 2009 10 season. They terminated their shareholders agreements with the Hockey League and the name at that time for the SHL's latest organization. The teams also formed an interest group to investigate the possibility of forming a continental hockey league spanning several European countries. 
These plans were abandoned in November 2011, however, with Verlundis chairman expressing hopes for the future of the European Trophy, which was disbanded at the formation of the Champions Hockey League in 2013. On 17 June 2013, the league was renamed Svenska Hockey League, and since this would allow for an easy English translation, Swedish Hockey League, and a common acronym in the two languages, SHL, all of which was considered to be better brand identity for investment, okay. So that's a little bit of the backstory. Um, let's get it now to the game itself, see if there's any differences between that and the game we're used to watching the NHL. Each regular season SHL game is composed of three 20 minute periods with an intermission of a maximum of 18 minutes between periods, okay. Is tied following the 60 minute regulation of 5 minute 3 on 3 sudden death overtime period is played. If a game is still tied for the overtime period, a shootout decides the game. In a shootout, the team that scores the most penalty shots out of 3 attempts wins the game. If the game is still tied for the first 3 penalty shot rounds, the shootout continues round by round. The one team scores while the other team fails to score. So, pretty standard stuff. During each period, there's one 70 second power break used to display commercials. Each commercial is played for the first stoppage of play at least 10 minutes into the period. Power breaks do not ever take place directly after a goal penalty shot, ice and call, or during a power play. Commercial breaks, that's something we're pretty used to in, um, in North American hockey playoff games. In the event of a tied game during the playoffs, additional appointment overtime periods are played perpetually until one team scores. Unlike in the regular season, playoff overtime periods are played 5-on-5. Five five. Oh. oh yeah, 3-on-3 three three is normal for the playoffs in the NHL, it's right, you know. Only one game in Sweden has ever surpassed four full overtime periods. And no SHL games have surpassed three full overtime periods. Longest SHL game was the first game of the 1997 Swedish Championship semifinals played on 23 March 1997 between Lexans IF and Faris Stad PK. 6,012 spectators saw Andreas Carlson score the game winning goal for Lexand after 59 minutes of overtime, almost three full overtime periods. SHL games are played on ice hockey rink, which is rectangular ice rink with rounded corners around by a wall. Measures 30 by 60 meters in front of international standards. Okay, so it's the bigger ice than the NHL, which I prefer. I prefer that. Counting from the formation of the SHL 1975, Farikstad BK's the most successful team with 10 Swedish championship titles. Brindis IF and True Gardens IF are tied for a second most successful team with six championship titles. Counting from 19. For Swedish championships were played, Trick Gardens IF is a successful team with 16 champions titles, followed by Brinus IF with 13, as well as far as Dead BK with 10 and IK Kota with the 9. 2022 23 season, the league consists of 14 teams. HV71 returned the SHL for one season, the Hockey Osman Scan, what they won the 2021 22 title. Jer Gardens I have relegated to the Hockey Elsman scan at the end of the previous season, and as a result, Stockholm was not represented by a top division team for the first time. That's interesting. In the end of the season, Brinus was relegated for the first time ever, leaving Faristand as the only team to have played every season of the league since it was founded. Who is the champion? Most recent champion is the Von Fox Joe Lakers. Fox Joe Lakers. That's a pretty sick crest. Blue, orange, and white. Wow, well, they have a little bit of a dynasty going. 2015, 2018, 2021, 2023. That's extremely impressive. They're from Fox Joe Sweden, which I've never heard of before. Looks like kind of a small town, honestly. What is this? 70,000. Oh, municipal population of 95,000, but yeah, less than 100,000 population. For a city with a sports team, that's really small. Most sports teams are in 
cities with at least like 200,000 or so, you usually think, but it's really impressive for them to be that successful in a small town like that. So these are the teams this season. You have Brina Saif, or in Gothel in Sweden, Frolunda, who are in Gothenburg, which is the second largest city in Sweden, okay. Now I've looked at Frolunda only because that is where the prospect that the Vegas Golden Knights drafted in this draft um, plays for, so I looked at them a little bit. Foriestad BK from Karlstad, HV71 from Jan Goping, Lexens IF from Lexend. Wow, wait, Lexend only has a population of 6,000. And they have a professional team, so maybe populations are just, I guess, smaller in Sweden, I guess. I don't know. Um, Lingoping from Lingoping. Lulea HF. Malmo Red Ox from Malmo. IK Oscar Shaman from Oscar Shaman. Rogo BK, I've heard of them before. They're from Engelholm. Skleftia AIK from Skleftia. Dimra IK from Dimra. The Fox Joe Lakers from Fox Joe. Warbro HQ from Warbro. Let's go in and look at all these teams. A little bit more, but first I kind of want. So here's our standings for 2023-24. Oh, so this is for next season, right? This is for next season. So this is this. This isn't this year. And they have 
loved like they have an entire English language like news archive and stuff that's pretty cool I'm guessing he won MVP. Emil Barmy, the goalkeeper for the Fox Joe Lakers. 26 years old, 182 centimeters tall. He's Finnish. Save percentage. Doesn't say he's Larmy. Interesting, okay. Those are kind of nice. The all black. You just have the USF. Club 
So it looks like they changed it. This is a new logo. They used to have the Indian head for Lunda Indians. Yeah, I can see why they would change that. You know, obviously, the discourse of the Chicago Blackhawks and all that. Um, the Portland Winterhawks, my favorite team in the uh, WHL, they recently changed their logo because they were using a Native American head for a very long time. On 2nd February 2022, for Lunda Hockey Club presented their new logo. City of Gothenburg, Fasta for Lunda, gentleness and excitedness. The logo visualizes two F's, two hands. Letter H, which stands for hockey. The logo receives a lot of negative feedback from fans and media. So yeah, there's the old logo. Yeah, these jerseys do have a lot of sponsorships. They have a big, looks like McDonald's badge on the back of their shorts. Ryan Latch plays with them. They've won American. Eric Borg was not get just drafted. No, 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 that's a different Borg. Farikstad BK. Swedish personal hockey team based in Karlstad. They have 21 of 10 Lamad trophies. Gardens I have, so they got relegated, but this is the team that's in Stockholm. I don't like that crest at all, though. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not feeling that. Forest and playing to a 14 AHL All-Star game in St. John's, Newfoundland, and see if AHL All-Stars. They lost the All-Star game 7-2 to two against the AHL All-Stars. They have, well, they have four Canadians on this team. They have Maxime Legacé on their team. That is, he's a Golden Knight. Well, he was a Golden Knight, but yeah, Maxime Legacé was in the Vegas system for a little while. That's crazy to see that. Interesting. Another goalie. So they have two Canadian goalies. Joachim Nygaard. Uh, HV71. Now I've looked at this team before. They do interest me a little bit. I actually did watch one of their games on YouTube. One of their games. I believe for Lunda. HG71 was found on May 24, 1971. It's merger between Husqvarna, IF, and Vaterstads IK. And took the name Husqvarna, Vaterstads IF, played the year shortened to the current name HV71. So Husqvarna is the company that makes the, the chainsaws. Huskvarna, Sweden. Huskvarna constitutes the eastern part of Jan Goping, a Swedish city in the Swedish province of Smaland. It's published about 24,000 distance in Jan Goping, spelled five kilometers. Same Huskvarna translates to house mill. A royal rifle manufacturer established in Husqvarna. It was originally spelled today's Husqvarna AB in 
71. I want to take a look at their arena, the Husqvarna Garden. Kind of a boring. Although that is interesting to me. Because I wonder if that is open during the game. Because at the Veterans Memorial Coliseum where the Winter Hawks play, they'll sometimes open up the big curtain sunlight come in, especially during sunset, it's beautiful. Um, but let's look at G71 jerseys here. They're nice, I like the colors on them, I like that yellow one a lot. Very good. 
interesting. Okay, um, Lexins IF. It's nice. That looks super low profile, but it looks it looks chill. It looks cool. Oh yeah, this looks like a. I like this arena. Like it's low key, but it's nice. Uh, Lin Goping HC. Yeah, this is the one that I like definitely. I definitely don't like these ones. Uh, they've not won any championships. single championship. They have an American Brock Little and Ty Raddy. I think I know that guy. I don't know if I've heard that name before. But yeah, just, this, this logo is so bad. I just like can't. Saab Arena. That is a really nice looking arena though. I'd give him that. I'm gonna look at the jersey just because I'm like, out on that team. Lulea HF. Lulea Lulea, I'm not sure. Northernmost team in the league. Okay, red, black, yellow. Northernmost team in the league. Jack Connolly is their center. Mm, they have an American center. They have Brendan Schneeman. Another one of their centers played for the Coyotes. Mario Kempe. Co-op Norbotten Arena. Indoor sport looking at Elias Sweden. That's the arena up there. That's actually a nice looking barn. I'm not gonna lie, that's a nice looking barn. Especially with how it's like integrated. Like, like you have these apartment buildings around nature. That's I like that. Looks like you might have some seating down there on the near the glass, but oh, that. That jumbotron looks way too low because if you're sitting like in, if you're sitting in one of these seats up here with that jumbotron there, you're gonna have a pretty bad view. I feel like I don't know how I feel about that. Um, let's go to Lulea. Look at their jerseys. Let me know because 
Here's their jerseys. Um, these ones are a little boring to me. They're the, they're the BG Hockey Center. Can you even see the outside of it? Oh, this looks like a very small barn. 3,275 people. This is a very small barn. Okay. Oh, yeah, it looks like they have the smallest capacity in the entire league by a pretty decent margin. I passed over the Malmo Red Ox. Um, back to 1947. Wow, they changed the Red Ox in 2001. They have won the trophy twice, most recently in 1994. The 2000s downturn. Financial issues, reconstruction, oh wow. So they've been through the ringer then, haven't they? Yeah. Looks like, yeah, they've, uh, they've had some issues. They played the Malmo Arena. Oh, that interior might be the, the nicest interior I've seen so far, though. Look at that, you have seats right up against the glass. That's amazing. This, I think they have the best arena that I've seen so far. And their arena is right next to the train station, which is, like, that's, that's really nice. Malmo Red Ox. Jersey, see what they look like. Those are pretty cool. Yeah, those are pretty cool. Um, IK, Oscar already looked at that. Rogel BK. CHL Challenge Cup, so that's pretty cool. They have a women's team. Okay. I don't know that green and I'm not a fan of teams wearing that wear green in the first place and that their logo's kind of ugly. Katina Arena. Yeah, to be honest, I'm not I'm not feeling local. I don't really want to look at their jerseys. I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to be watching a Swedish team, I think they're out. Skleftia AIK. That's a very interesting, I like you the sun there. Very interesting logo, black and yellow, good combination. They've won three Lamat trophies. They play at Skleftia Craft Arena. That looks like a very small, very, almost like an office building. Really? Yeah, look, you don't have a ton of seats in there. Kind of a smaller barn. AIK. I like that though. I like the black and the yellow. The, 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 the logo is nice. Celebrating the championship. That's pretty cool. They have a, this is the first German I've seen, I think. Adam Mascheren. Drafted by the Florida Panthers, redrafted by the Dallas Stars, now he plays for them. Interesting. Axel Sandin Balika, this guy was just drafted. Yeah, to drafted 17th overall by the Detroit Red Wings. This guy's on the team. He's from Galaver, Sweden, number five. So he plays for them right now. IK. Demra Sweden, they just wear red and white. That's kind of boring. The logo is just like a word mark. Nah, they played the NHC Arena. Looks like they yeah, have. Next door, 
follows a track around it. It looks like they have like a sports complex type situation here, and it's like right on the lake, which is really nice. Like a big helmet out there. I mean, it looks like they have really great support. But it's a kind of boring to me. And they've they not won the championship. No, it doesn't look like it. Oh well, they've kind of been sent back and forth between the two leagues. Yeah, so they've kind of bounced around between relegation and promotion, but they haven't won. Um, Facts Jump Lakers, we already looked at them a little bit. Let's look at their arena, the Vita Arena. This might be the... I don't want to say this is the worst one we've seen yet, because the one with the low Jumbotron is pretty bad, but this looks... Like there's not even seats over there. There might be a standing only section, but I'm not just going to jump on the bandwagon they won last year. They have a little bit of dynasty going. I ain't jumping on there. Or a pro HK. Baron Arena. Oh, wow. <laughs> this one really looks like an office building. There's just not interior shots at this arena, okay? I mean, that's to be expected, I guess. But I do kind of like the idea. You have HV71, this team seems cool. Um, hold on, I had to pause this real quick because I'm going to look up one thing. So I wanted to look here because any team I support, I want to be able to see them if I ever go visit, like, I went and watched the Tokyo Yakult Swallows, right, in Japan. Um, so if I ever go to Sweden, if I want to be able to watch HV71, three 
three and a half hour train ride. That's not bad. That's really not too bad. Um, yeah, I mean, that's... I also kind of liked Malmo a little bit. Um, you know, Malmo, the Red Ox, but... HV71, I think I might... I think I might watch a little bit of HV71 keep pushing because what it starts up in September, right? So a little something to watch before the season starts. So anyways, guys, that was uh, me just kind of looking at the Swedish Hockey League a little bit because that's something that really interests me. And um, I thought maybe you guys might find it interesting because I know I have a lot of hockey fans that watch me here. So I do hope you guys at least found it interesting. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more content just like this almost every single day. Until next time, guys. Bye-bye.